this is going to be a pretty small project and like every project i started and never finished hopefully this is going to be finished yes this is me announcing the start of a new game project last year i started a new puzzle game and made a video to show the world my dev journey my enthusiasm and excitement it's been like a year without posting any news life is hard and i easily lose motivation and focus if i have bigger issues somehow i don't find it a good thing to be sad in videos and bore people with my sadness but hey where the duck is the game hello folks andrew from yellow hat games here welcome to this new video it's March 2022 and on January I set some new year resolutions. I have to finish three games in a year. Three wall games. So I looked on my game project folder, projects I started and never finished. There are good ideas there, there are bad ideas as well. So I searched and searched and there it is. That's the project. I thought that I could get working back on the project I started in this summer. This is the second vlog of the Sliders game. Now the game has a name and it's called Slimes and Sliders. And I decided to change my game studio name as well. Now I go under Yellow Hat Games. Okay, okay, I got it. I don't legally own a game studio, but if I had one, that would definitely be the name of the game studio. Everything started with a tutorial and the game took shape itself. This was the small project I was looking for. At the time, I was learning Godot. And this looked like a good opportunity to take. I'm still learning Godot, but I definitely feel more confident in using it. So I started with a very basic concept. Save the slimes. Make them bounce on those moving boxes and make them reach the portal. That's it. And the game doesn't want to reinvent the genre or any ambitious thing really. There are already a lot of games like this out there and one of the most famous one is Angry Birds. Everything started with Angry Birds on mobile gaming, so a good idea looked to copy from the best. But my game is different. The player moves the obstacles and not the flying birds. Most of the basic cutting was done during summer 2021, but the game started leaving this month. I already had the sliding boxes, had a slime spawner and a portal. There were some level concepts done as well already. So there wasn't so much work needed to finish it. This is what I told myself. Such an idiot. So I started putting down a pipeline. You guys don't know me, but I do know me. I'm totally a guy that changes ideas, starts new things in the middle of the project because get easily bored. So I opened my simple task manager too. Shameless plug! And added some main tasks. Each of those was divided into small chunks of work. So I could easily finish them without getting crazy, getting caffeine addicted or abusing drugs. Yeah, I kinda smoke now. Bad boy! The best thing to keep me focused was making live streams on Twitch. So I had no excuses to not work on my game. Pesto, say hi if you want. 50 followers are still a far thing for my channel. But the game was boring. There was no challenge. The player had a lot of time to solve the puzzles. So I started with adding a timer. This way the player would feel a little pressure to make the slimes reach the portal. He would care about the slimes, right? Uh, maybe, probably. So I added some classical game elements, the points, but that wasn't enough. So I added a target as well. You need to save at least three slimes in order to access the next level or more. Obviously this number changes according to my need. To make everything easier to manage, I exported those variables. Thanks to this function, Godot allows me easily to change the values directly from the editor. So I can increase and decrease the available time and the slime's target to be saved. Every step down made the game look like a real game. I started developing and making some level design. The fact is this, I'm not a good level designer. I don't feel comfortable making that. And soon I found out that having some moving sliders, it's not enough to make the game funny and the puzzles funny. New mechanics were needed and I rearranged the pipeline and right now it looks like this. A really small project, right? New mechanics were needed, but even before I needed a level menu to access the levels. What are you doing? Right now? Yes. Uh, right now I'm creating a menu to, to make people play the game levels. Just 
And that was very easy to make, at least the visual part of it. The logic behind it is this. You have a button, it can be locked or clickable. When clicked, it changes the scene to a specific level. Since you can give nodes a name that is a number, I called it something like level 1. The name is very important because according to the final number, it's going to change its test. The player will actually see the number written on the button itself. So thanks to some string manipulation and black magic, I just need to duplicate this button and, and it automatically sets its name to the level hill point. Great, right? But I wasn't done yet. When you play games, you don't really think about all the little things that run in the background and that are essential to actually play the game. Make the game experience good and not frustrating. Just think to the first video games, the retro games. They were fun and hard. They don't have a save function. Now think to all oh, your saving. Think how you would feel if you lost progress each time you restart the game. I bet you would be very mad. The technology developed and the save game was born and criminality decreased immediately. So I needed to save the data for the game. For this game I'm using JSON and Arise, very very basic data structure. I'm not going for the best solution, just for the one that works. I divide the game in worlds, you can't access a new world without completing each level in the previous one. Since I live in Italy, calling them Mondo looked a nice touch to make people feel near to the country that gave us pasta, pizza and mafia. <laughs> I put some graphics here and there and we are done. The next step is to create the new mechanics, but this is going to be in the next video. Okay guys, like you can see, like changed, I changed, I wear something else now, because it's been something like more than a week that I've been working on this video. This second episode reached the end. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any question or suggestion, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know as well how you are approaching your game dev, if you are doing good or if you have some of the issues I had and if you approach it this way, sharing might be a pretty interesting thing to do. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to watch live streams while I'm devving this, you can come to the Twitch channel. I don't have a regular schedule actually, but, but I try my best to stick on the pipeline and work every day and make live streams every day. There are links down below in the description if you want to check my Simple Task Manager, it's going to have some updates now because I'm updating it each time because I need some new functions for myself. And hopefully when this video is out, there is already a Slime and Sliders demo out there and you can download it for Android or you can play it on the browser, web browser, or you can download it on your desktop. And this was it, I'm Andrew from Yellow Hat Games. And one last thing I wanted to say is, keep making games!